Did you know that some of the most charming towns in Ireland are often overlooked by travelers? Welcome along. Today we are going to take a look at our five best small towns and villages to visit in Ireland. Not only are they places we love, but they are friendly with lots of things to do. We will start along the wild Atlantic way. We have seen a lot of visitors to Ireland who are rushing around to catch all the main tourist sites and we think they miss many things that are uniquely Irish. Let's show you. Kerry is a stunning county with magnificent mountain road views and rugged scenery. The town of Kenmare has a quaint small village feel on the shores of Kenmare Bay, some 40 minutes drive from Killarney. It's on the famous Ring of Kerry. There are lots of pubs, of course. Our favorite is Peter Crowley's, where the crack is 90, and you will hear some great traditional music. Also, loads of great restaurants and small craft shops. From woolen wear to fine Irish china, it's very multicultural, where folks from Europe and America have made their home over the years. Its relaxing ambiance is refreshing and just one reason why we love it. <laughs> Now Mary went down to the wave, as young and gay she fell. And Fagin sat down by the fire, and he drank to the old man's health. Oh, Grandma Cree so sat to see an old man on the bed. A man old crater when alive, but a fine man now that he's dead. <laughs> The next small town on our list is the medieval town of Kinsale in County Cork. Visitors return here year after year. One of the reasons again is its friendly relaxed charm and its famous fish restaurants, stunning boutique stores, creative design shops and endless galleries. One of the most beautiful towns in Ireland, it's also very easy to get to from Europe by flying into Cork or from America in to Shannon Airport. It's only a 25 minute drive from Cork Airport. Kinsale is a fishing town with brightly painted shops and houses. Boating is a big part of Kinsale and the sheltered harbor has many large ocean going yachts. Charles Fort and James Fort overlook the bay on separate sides and are two relics of British rule abandoned after independence from Britain in December, 1921. There are lots of hotels and bed and breakfasts in the town center, the Kinsale Hotel and Spa, which is just out of town, a short drive. We highly recommend it. We have a specific video review of it on the channel. Please have a look after this video. What would you say to some of the stars that live in Dal Key? If you met one in a pub, would you be tongue tied? Leaving Kinsale, we bring you right up next to Dal Key just on the south side of Dublin City on the Dart Line to Wicklow and Bray. A vibrant heritage town which we covered specifically in a recent video. Food is diverse, with a full choice of restaurants spread throughout the town. A place where you are liable to bump into your favorite film stars, particularly if there is a big budget movie being filmed in Ireland. Van Morrison and Bonor just some of the residents. A very friendly town with some great pubs and restaurants. More suited to a day trip and perhaps a visit to Dalkey Island, weather and sea swell permitting. If after all that, and you like walking and hiking, check out Killiney Hill and Dalkey Hill Park, a small park overlooking Killiney and Dalkey villages. The views in all directions are spectacular from this vantage point. A 15 minute walk from Killiney Dart Station. On the opposite side of Dublin on the coast is Hoth. A fishing town where, like Kinsale, the fish is so fresh it nearly jumps off the plate. We visited recently on a sunny day and as you can see it was seriously busy. Again, a great spot for walking and hiking. On Hoth Hill there are great walks through the gorse with views out over the Irish Sea and southwards towards Killiney. There are a number of restaurants. If you play golf, there are two courses on the hill as well, close to Hoth Castle. It will eventually be converted into an hotel, so we believe. Finally, a favorite spot from childhood. I was brought to this little town as we lived in the north, and we came here on a Sunday to get my dad's favorite chocolate, Toblerone, which in those far-off days we could not get in the north, Carlingford. Carlingford is on the Cooley Peninsula, right on the coast facing County Down and Warren Point. It has King John's Castle, built in the 12th century, and some lovely little pubs. 
It's friendly and inviting, and because it's just off the main motorway, it's often missed by visitors. If you are into kayaks, canoes, and water sports, they have it. So that's our five favorite small towns. They are special to us for many reasons, and we think they are worth visiting. Please follow for more videos on beautiful places to visit. Hit the bell and add any comments as we love to hear your views. Thank you, and we will see you in the next one. Out there. Take care.